It is December 31st, 2021. I am recording this at 10.17pm, so just about two hours before New Year's. I'm just about to go out and see some of the fireworks today. Uh, this year, this year, this year. I'd say it's been, uh, I don't want to say short, because everyone's saying it's short. And I feel like every year just gets shorter and shorter, but... I'd say it's been an exceptionally short year. Um, last year, a lot of people said it was a really long year. I don't really agree with that. I think it's just maybe because it was a different kind of year. You know, we're all staying at home. We're all uh, getting scared of COVID and all that. But I think as I grow older, every year just gets uh, shorter and shorter. No, no year really sticks out as uh, long to me anymore. I will say one thing about 2021 though. It does really feel like a blend 2020 and 21, 2021. Like, I, it's kind of hard to assemble the events. Which one happened in this? Which one happened in the last year? It's all kind of mixed together, right? I mean, COVID is the main thing that's that's mixing the two. But if you think of other things, like, I know the election was 2020. But things like Black Lives Matter, uh, other things like that, you know, I, I, I don't really know when that took place. Because that's kind of a reminder that the year turning around doesn't really mean much in what actually happens. We might enter the world in a different mindset but the world doesn't change in any way when the clock says 2022 it's not like everyone's gonna magically heal from this virus it's not like everyone's gonna go back to their homes and be happy once again it's just a new sign a new beginning that maybe we can try again maybe you can try to do better and maybe we can move on It will never go away, and it won't change unless we do so, but it's it's time to move on. And you know what? I'm quite positive about this next year. I know COVID cases are in a new high because of Omicron, but uh, I think we'll see that the severity of this whole variant might not be as bad, and everyone getting it, while that might suck, to get sick for a little bit if everyone gets it in the end it doesn't really matter anymore right it become an endemic thing or whatever like the flu and we'll all go back to living our lives again and i think uh down the line when we all get old 20 30 years from now we'll look back and we'll ask each other hey did you ever get covid back then and like It'll be like two different types of people. People who did get it back then and people who never got it. You know, lucky and unlucky. I still haven't gotten COVID. I think Omicron's probably going to change that. But I guess we'll just see, right? We'll be like the generation. We'll be talking about this for generations, you know? It's like the defining feature of our era. Of Gen Z, of the 2020s, whatever. It's big. This thing is huge. Um, And we're living in a pretty important time. Um, Might just be the end of it. It Might be quite fitting that uh, COVID cases are the all-time high at the end of the year. Uh, I think it's quite fitting that this whole danger finally comes to an end in 2021. It turned out to be a two-year threat, this thing. Pretty interesting. Um, I don't think we'll look back this time fondly. I think we'll look back in this time as a, maybe a bit worse than it actually was. It's not actually, um, that bad staying at home. I think we'll rather even miss it. I'm not going to say anything about New Year's uh, resolutions or, uh, anything like that. (laughs) Like how we completely just forgot all about that because we've been talking about so many other things. But yeah, I think life moves on. Um, And the year also does. So 
I'd say I'm happy, I'm content with life, and I'm ready to see what's next. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas, too, because I didn't make a video for Christmas. I hope everyone stays safe. I hope everyone stays happy. And let's enter this new page together. See you tomorrow. See you next year is what I meant to say.